Thanks for checking in. So on today's video, what we're talking about is uh, heat pump efficiency and cost. Those are probably the two most important things you wanna know when uh, installing a heat pump, especially if you live in a colder region where you get lots of below freezing temperatures and snow. It's one thing to show that they work, and if you wanna see that, please check out my last video that yes, they do indeed blow warm air in the cold, uh, even well below zero. Uh, but they work differently than your furnace or what um, you're probably used to. So before I get into that, I'll quickly describe uh, my setup and I'll show you uh, what I have. I have what's called a hybrid heat pump. It's a unit that was hooked up to my furnace. So it uses my centrally ducted furnace system. However, the natural gas uh, is not being used for the most part. Uh, and it's just the, the A coil inside of the furnace, uh, which is heated from the outdoor heat pump. Uh, it basically runs in reverse in the winter time and my furnace fan, my existing furnace fan, blows that warm air throughout my house. And uh, you can look at my last video to kind of see the efficient, or how well, uh, how warm the air was that blew through the house. But that's not the point of this video. We wanna see how much energy did it use over these cold months um, since December, uh, I'm gonna show you. Important to understand that there's different kinds of heat pumps. There's mini split units, which are on the wall. Mine, again, is a centrally ducted heat pump unit. I live in about a thousand, little over a thousand square foot home. It's mostly brick. And I live in um, Southern Ontario in Canada, uh, close to Niagara Falls. Um, we get a similar climate to Western New York, I guess. Um, uh, Buffalo is about an hour away or so. Okay, so here's the numbers. Uh, sorry for the crude uh, drawing on the ske Tesla sketch pad. It's actually harder to draw in here than I thought. Um, the column on the left is how many kilowatt hours uh, my heat pump used. And on the right is uh, how much that cost me. So you can see from December to April, Averaging around 650 over the four months between December and March. Those are the colder months that are mostly below zero here. We get snow. It'll last definitely a few weeks before it melts off. Uh, we get a number of snowfalls throughout the winter. April has been fairly mild. So this is my average. I've actually only used 270 or sorry, 170 kilowatt hours so far. And uh, when I project that out, it lo looks like it'll hit about 230. The way I'm monitoring this is, is not guesswork, it's directly through what's called uh, the Emporia View. Um, lots of reviews on that online if you wanna check it out, but basically you can monitor every uh, breaker in your house if you want, how much energy it's using. Now the cost, hey, this is where it's really coming in. So uh, $58 for December, 62, 61, 55, and now for April, only $21 did that cost me uh, to run my heat pump. So over the course of these five months, the coldest months of the year, it's uh, cost me $257 to run. Now keep in mind, this is Canadian. So for my American friends, what is that? Like closer to 200 bucks. And uh, I'm guessing, I, I threw an average out there and some of my neighbors told me their gas bills were even more this, this winter. Um, so last year my gas bill was under 100 averaged out, but this year it would have been minimum 150 uh, to run my gas furnace for a total over, if I would have run my gas furnace for those five months, I would have been looking at about $750 over those five months. And what is the difference? So I've already saved $500 in five months. And so that's where it really makes a difference. Now this is probably not for everybody, my electricity rates average between about seven to 14 cents, depending whether you're on or off demand. So it's it's really a, a per use case scenario of whether a heat pump is gonna work for you. It depends on, on your home, how well it's insulated, the age of your windows, how much insulation's in your attic. Um, do you have a centrally ducted system or do you have to put in a bunch of mini splits because that's gonna add up as well. So I just wanted to give an overview because a lot of people in my last video are asking, well, how much energy did it use and what did that cost you? And so I'd like to do this over the summer as well because maybe you didn't know, but a heat pump replaces your air conditioner for the summer as well. And it's actually a lot more efficient than your older outdoor units. Um, the best place is really a, a licensed 
knowledgeable uh, HVAC tech is where you need to check this out further. Ask a lot of questions. What types of units do you use? How well are they holding up? Um, what do you know about my specific uh, house and how this or, or your your living space and how this is going to to manage with um, the age of all those things mentioned like your 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 doors and windows and how things are ventilated within your particular home but hopefully that gives you a good overview if you guys like this video uh, and want to give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, i'm going to be doing more especially the the summer efficiency and compare that to the winter ones and uh and hopefully i'll be paying for this unit off in, in only a few years uh, with these savings have a great day